Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dustin is coming at you with... I'm Sarah Richard from the Grover Center Museum here in Shelbyville, Indiana. And I've been wanting to do this type of video for a long time. This is about the Squirrel Uprising of 1822. Now, I don't know a lot about it. She does, so that's why I'm here with her. So, take it away. Well, thank you, Dustin. Thanks for coming into the Grover Center Museum here. We are operated by the Shelby County Historical Society. And we do lots of fun stories. Uh, we love storytelling about things that happened in the past. This story really piqued my interest because I think squirrels are hilarious. So, and, and if you think about squirrels and you think about these cute little animals hanging out in the trees with their fuzzy little tails, really, this is not what this was at all. 1822. In 1822, there was a massive squirrel uprising. It didn't just happen here in Shelby County. It happened all the way from here up to Noblesville, Indiana, which is on the north side of Indianapolis, and all the way east to all the way to Columbus, Ohio, which if you're driving, it's about a three-hour drive straight east down 70. So there was this huge area in this uh, central part of Indiana to Ohio that was overcome with squirrels. And I don't mean like oh gosh, I have like 10 or 15 squirrels eating at my squirrel feeder today. I mean, almost millions of squirrels that are coming in. There's different accounts that say there was, you could sit in a tree and kill 180 squirrels without moving um, from your spot. That's a lot of squirrels. So anyways, what happened was, um, they really don't know exactly why the squirrel uprising happened or it was called, considered a plague. But in the, what was going on at the time was Shelby County became a county in 1819. We had just become a state. Now people are moving here. Once they get here, they're cutting down the trees and then they're planting crops. Ooh, squirrels are thinking free food. They're a migratory animal. So they're coming through in waves. They get to the crops, free food, eating all the food, getting to the point where the people who are living here, the pioneers who are here, holy cow, they don't have their they won't have their crops for the next year. So there's one guy, his name is John Walker. John Walker, uh, he decided that he was going to save back grain from his grist mill, uh, which was over on the river um, on um, on nine here. And so anyways, he had this grist mill. He saved back grain. so for the next year, there would be enough uh, grain for people to uh, replant their fields. And so, saving Shelby County. People didn't starve to death. Ooh, love that. So that was the squirrel uprising. It happened again in 1845, but um, we're not exactly sure why those two years happened. The biologists haven't figured it out. But squirrels are na were naturally migratory then. Now they just kind of camp out in our yards and hang out in, in central areas and don't uh, move like they used to. But back then, they were going in droves, causing plagues. Thank you. You're welcome. Like I said, she knows a lot more about this than I do. That's why I wanted to do this interview. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more. I upload several times a day, and I try to do three or four long videos a week. Have a good one. Stay safe.